Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be working on a repair of a John Deere 155C lawn tractor. If you can tell, uh, we have a little issue with the front axle. The cast iron uh, fitting has uh, given way and broken. So we, uh, we've ordered a new part from uh, greenfarmparts.com. We used code TT. WT for Tractor Time with Tim. Uh, if you guys uh, aren't already familiar with his channel, I suggest you check out Tractor Time with Tim for great uh, tips on your John Deere 1 Series tractors as well as discounts on parts such as these at Green Farm Parts. We're going to start out by trying to take off uh, the muff muffler so that we can actually get to the bolt where where the right, so we're starting out by taking off uh, the mounting bracket here for the hood where the hood mount to be able to get up underneath here to take off this the shroud that goes around the muffler all of these bolts um, that are used are 10 millimeter bolts so you just need to get uh, 10 millimeter uh, I'm using a deep well socket uh, just so that I have some height you could also use a standard socket with an extension to be able to get around these parts but essentially, once you take the hood off, which is fairly easy, it just kind of rests in here. Uh, the only thing you have to do is unplug the uh, headlights and just kind of tuck that out of your way. And then the hood just lifts off fairly easily if you've not already done that. These are just the cheap little uh, on sale for $2 or $3 uh, Harbor Freight magnetic trays. I tend to buy these when, uh, when they're on sale. I have several of them. Uh, come in real handy whenever you're doing any kind of repairs you can magnet it to you know just about anything and it, it'll keep keep the parts from disappearing on you so once we take the hood mounting bracket off we'll set that out of our way there are two bolts that hold this on and of course they're not the same size now that we've got that off we need to take out these two top bolts here that are holding on the uh, muffler protection and those happen to be an eight millimeter bolt okay so once you have those bolts out this should just lift off of these two there are two prongs up here and then it should pivot down and it just is hooked in here it looks like from the underside by a couple tabs so here you can see there's just these tabs uh, obviously mine is uh, quite a bit dinged up from running into stuff so maybe we can try and pound that flat a little bit while we're uh, while we've got the muffler that's here and that again is going to be our 10 millimeter helps when you use it right in and that's held on with three bolts and this should just drop down yep all right, once you have the uh, muffler off, there's gonna be a center pivot bolt that the axle pivots around. And that for that, you're gonna need an 18 millimeter metric socket. All right, another thing that we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to get the tire off of the old part here. So what we're gonna do for that is I've just got a straight flat screwdriver and we're gonna stick it up under there and we're going to just start rotating, put a little pressure, just start rotating, just start stretching that cap out a little bit. And we're just going to keep rotating. And then we're just going to keep rotating it until we can get the screwdriver above the washer that's in there. Once we do that, we should be able to just pop that off. Okay. And it's likely full of grease. So we'll just set that Once to the side. Once you get the cap off, you're going to be left with a, a big greasy mess here. So what we want to do is just kind of get a shop towel or paper towel, rag, whatever, whatever you have, and try and get some of the grease off of this. And then with that same straight screwdriver, you're just going to stick it in here. There are, are things on either side here, little spots where you can get a screwdriver in. And you're just going to kind of pry this off. Okay. That ring is just going to pop off of there. And that's, that's what it looks like. And then you take the washer off and it slides right out. And before I go putting everything back together, I am going to clean off and inspect this a little bit, see how it's doing. I didn't buy replacement parts for this, so I'm hoping that it'll 
It doesn't look like it needs to be replaced. And we're gonna clean off all the old grease that's down here around the bottom so we can put all new right. grease. So we got the old broken the old broken part out, and here is the the new part. Obviously it's a replacement part. Alright, so we'll move the old part out of the way. And we've got our brand new part here. And uh, I went ahead and got new new bushings as well. I figured if we're replacing it, if it's gotten to that point that it needs to be replaced, we'll go ahead and we'll get new bushings. And I also got uh, a couple other parts. They, I, I, I didn't know if they would need it, but I figure better to put new parts in. If you're putting it all in, make it all the same. And these were, they weren't that expensive. I, I don't know what I, I, I paid overall um, for everything with shipping about a hundred dollars it was 90 90 some dollars i got new uh lock locking uh, springs there new washers uh, for the top and new bolt new nut and the new bushing so all all said that was a hundred dollars uh, i figured i could reuse all the other parts uh, without any issues so can you push some of that over to here no once you get all that out you can move to the another side to, it's to over there. Like no, too much belly ache in there. All right. So we just slide the new part up in there, and we start to bolt in. And so that's going to pivot on there like that. Gives us our travel. Now we have to get the uh, tractor deck. That's going to be, I think, the hard part because it was being held up in the front with this bolt and this plate that bolts on and now I gotta lift it up there how am I gonna do that huh how I'm gonna do that without Nicholas here well you got me here it's heavy though how you gonna do it you lift it up and I'll do what you eat with it yeah you think all right, we've got the, uh, the new axle bolted in. The next thing we're gonna do is put the tires back on. And for that, we're just gonna slip them back in here. And now we need to put the washer. I'm gonna hold that up with my foot. And you can't see any of that. So let's, let's uh, yeah, slide it around. All right, we're gonna put the wheels in the uh, back on the new axle here, and put the new washer on, followed by the new spring clip. And for that, we're just gonna push that in there, and that just pushes in. It really finger pressure is good. Okay. Now we're gonna take the the cap that we had before and uh, try and get that, you know, back around there. Let's see here how, how best we are gonna be able to do that. Honestly, I don't know which one was which. I don't know that it matters, but... Let's see here. Try and get this here stretched without breaking it. are old caps. I, I did not buy new ones, so try not to. Okay, so now they're they're on there, and once we get that full of grease, that'll that'll sit down in there better. Okay, so now we can let that one go, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. It's just that easy. Slide them up, put the washer on, push the spring clip in, get this back on, and. Uh, then we'll reassemble the uh, the two drive or the two uh, steering arms here, and we should be good to go. Okay, everybody, that uh, wraps it up for another episode of Hanging with Harv. Don't forget, if you haven't already uh, subscribed to my channel, please uh, go ahead and click that subscribe button now and leave me some comments. Let me know what you thought of the project. Thanks a lot. Bye.